Welcome back. In this video, we shall learn about fetching data from an API. We shall be using a built-in JavaScript tool called Fetch. Fetch is a promise-based tool used to handle HTTP requests in React. In this video, we shall be fetching data from this API here, the Star Wars API. And it's fine if you do not understand properly what an API is. Just know that an API is a ready-made resource pool for you to plug your app to so you can access data in a dynamic way. So instead of us building a back-end for our React app, which will have a database of the data we will need to run our app, we can just use an API to serve as the back-end for us. So let's grab data from this API using fetch. Let's go to our VS Code. Let's have our statement here and let's have this. So let's pass in the name of our component there, which is WhatsApp. And let's pass in the constructor. It's going to take a super, as usual, a super function. This dot equal to main data main data is not a default word i'll set this to an empty object because we are grabbing data from a database so it's most likely going to be in a json format so i'll come down here and i'll pass in my component did mount because fetch is always passed in in the components did mount lifecycle method it's preferable to pass it in there to say. So, right here I'd say fetch, just like that. And what I'm going to pass in here is going to be the URL of the API. So I'll come here and I'll go to documentation and I'll go to people. I want to fetch from the people and I'll copy this and I'll paste it in my fetch function using quotes. So this is HTTPS Star Wars API.co forward slash API forward slash people forward slash one, the first person. Then, then beneath this, I resolve my fetch function, which is a promise based function by saying resolution res set to res.json then I'll come beneath this again and I'll still resolve this with the then function again that says data set to an arrow function like so then I'll set state by saying this dot set state set state is a function always and I'll set my object which is main data to data so what happened here is i'm fetching from this url and i'm resolving it here as a json file also i'm resolving it here passing data as my argument and i'm setting state which is main data to what is gotten from this url that is resolved into data so that's why i have main data here set to data so whatever is collected from this url will be passed into this curly brackets so in my render function i'm going to take that down and pass in the div to get the error out i'm going to pass in this dot state dot main data dot name the dot name here comes with the API. So the value of the name property in the API object here is what I'll be grabbing with this line of code here. So let's go to our browser and see what we have. As you can see, I have Luke Skywalker. 